Hello everyone, this is a look at three separate products together in one video. Just figured I'd put them together because each one is fairly simple and they're all very closely related. These are the LEGO Minecraft Series 1 Big Figs. They actually call them Big Figs. I know that we've used that term for something else very specific in the past, but that's just what they're using here. On the left is Steve with Parrot. In the center is the Skeleton with Magma Cube. And on the right is Alex, who comes with the chicken. Let's first check out the size of each of these. Actually, no, I'm just going to use Steve as a representative sample because it's very recognizable. So compared to a regular minifigure, and I have one other to bring into the picture since they did this, <laughs> the Brickheads version. So Lego, which makes brick-based toys that you can put together, has made these representations of Minecraft things, Minecraft being almost a digital version of Lego in many ways, and now they've done it in three different forms, three different official sizes. Uh, looking at these three side by side just makes the Brickheads one look even sillier with the round eyes, which just don't make sense. But this gives you a general idea of what, what they're going for in terms of the size so this is definitely a distinct product and unlike the others this is actually trying to be fairly accurate in terms of its its proportions you know fairly accurate to what you would see in game and in that sense they've done a pretty good job here this is one of the more proportion accurate uh humanoid things i think that lego has ever done at least proportion accurate to the source material so Steve, what can he do? Well, he's got an axe in his, you know, a pickaxe in, in his hand, and <laughs> he can go mining with it. I love this feature. It is absolutely perfect. It's exactly what you want to see. It's just a very small little actuator on the back. It's not too obvious. That's just cool. Uh, most of the blue color that's used for this uh, figure's shirt is dark azure and this is a medium azure color used for these short one by two lift arms or uh, yeah, I guess they're considered to be lift arms technic lift arms yeah so he can do that which I think is just great and you can also pose one arm up and down this has a friction joint in it so it'll hold in one location this one does not but you can modify it if you want to be able to hold this into one place. This also doesn't go back. Now I'm going to take it off the base. This little plate down here is included, the 6x6. Six six. Take it off that. It does stand without being on a studded base, but it's very nice that they set it up so that it can attach to a studded base to make it very, you know, very sturdy for display rather than using the studs on the side construction here and then just leaving it flat. The use of these new bracket pieces is absolutely perfect there and you can see that they used mis mixel style ball joints in there to allow you to move the legs front forward and back and you already see that the head is able to move a little bit also but so you can pose this in a walking pose like so which is great fantastic let me get them to be a little bit more straight up there we go but yeah the head is able to go up and down and is able to turn from side to side the position of the joint for that is pretty perfect. I mean, this looks alive. This this is exactly like looking at it in game. If you've never if you've never played Minecraft, this this is it right here. If you have played Minecraft, this is certainly ticking all the boxes for you, except for the ability to do that. But you know, leave that out. Just see this. You've seen this a billion times if you've played Minecraft. So that's that's just perfect right there. A couple open studs on the top, which is a little, little weird. We'll see what that's about. Hopefully, a little bit later on. No stickers used for this, of course. That's just a print for the face. It's a pretty good print. Looks pretty proper. And the the tool is a brand new mold with some tiles attached to it. Big old single piece with just studs on both sides. Interesting. Interesting choice there. But it looks pretty good. I like this entire thing because to me it's just classic Lego. Yeah, it's a modern theme, uses some modern pieces, some modern colors, but 
This is just pure buildable toy, simple fun. You can modify it if you want, but just as it's built, per the instructions, you just get a basic blocky person that you can play with. Or you can put on display if you want, but seems more like a play thing. <laughs> Nowadays, more people will probably use it for display, but it's it's just it's just so pure to me. It's like a like a really old Lego set of a person or something. And then it comes with this parrot. Now this does not use any print because it doesn't need it. Everything is just built up using solid colored pieces and there's enough detail here. Looks pretty looks pretty proper. Looks actually better than the minifig scaled one that they did that used a specialized mold as well and some prints. And you can see the tan colored foot piece used there. Same same part that was used for Steve for his feet, but here done in tan. And you got the colorful wings that can be spread apart like that. Those are on ball joints, so you can rotate them around however you want. You can make it go up and down. You got the tail in the back that can be moved up and down. Let's see if I can make this look like it's flying. Bring the, the crest back a little bit like that. See, if you want to pose it like that, you can. It's kind of cool. You know, just a little side build. It's very colorful, definitely adds to the set. I like it. It's, it's, about, it's about right for what it's trying to be. Here's Alex, and yes, they do set her up left-handed. If that bothers you, you can just mirror the build because it's, it's Lego, you know. This looks to me much better than the minifig version of her. You know, it has more of the colors in it. I guess they could have gone with the dual molded arm for that figure, also the face, you know, is just much, much, much better, much more crisp and clean and complete with all of the tan on it. And this one in particular here, this is one of the more recent ones that I got. It, it just doesn't have as much opacity as some of the others that I've gotten. Of course, you know, this does have the print for the torso, which gives you a little bit more accuracy and you get you know, more of the pixels depicted here overall. But I, I just like the look of that. Better, which makes sense. I mean, you should be able to do something better with a much larger size. This also has the built-in action feature, which is cool. Another specialized mold used for the the sword. There, this is in dark uh, dark gray, and they use medium azure and teal colored one by one tiles on that. Here's how that looks around the back. So you see, they use just the dark tan for the actuator this time. I don't know why they had to go with a different color inside for that modified 1x2 plate. I think that could have been hidden away a little bit better. We don't need to see something there that's that's bright. I don't know exactly what they were going for with that. And again, you can take it off the, the base, put it into a walking pose pretty easily. This arm is able to hold itself and you have that same articulation for the head which again is just right so you can you know stay fairly accurate to it <laughs> like that or if you want to add a little bit more life get a little bit more into the like minecraft story mode kind of thing you can bend things just a little bit you know bend reality the rules of the game angle side to side i think it's very cool and then the side build for this one is chicken and check it out another color for the bracket piece used for the feet they're done in yellow one print for this one for the eyes it's a little bit off there should have been all squared up you can see it's a little bit bent the the stamp was a little bit bent when it when it hit the surface there but other than that this is just built up and this has very little articulation <laughs> you can bring the head down and you can bring the head back just a little bit too bad you're not able to angle the entire thing back so it can look up at a character. Uh, that's that's a weak point right there. You can put a tile on the front of this if you want, but they obviously wanted to keep it a little bit you know, trim around the base. Uh, pretty respectable build for what it is. Nothing too special, but definitely looks best from a distance if you don't try to look at you know every tiny little detail of it. And, I mean, it's got a studded back, so... You can use this as a in-game giant chicken, which you can invent, because why not? It's it's just perfect. 
see? Or uh, think of this as a, a Minecraft version of the classic arcade game Joust. Hmm? You see it? Somebody will get it. And then here's the skeleton, the most different of them and the most articulatable because this one uses ball joints for the shoulders. Mostly just to keep everything nice and thin there and to allow you to do the posing that you want and just as kind of a, a side effect, I believe, you're able to get more posing out of it than you should be able to, you know, so you can bring the arms out just a little bit if you want, cross them across like that. Right? Let me see. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Do the floss. Anyway, uh, a very different build for this relies heavily upon the, uh, the ratcheted joints there in the center, including a pair of them used here, which is a nice way to get a very thin section of just vertebra is what that's supposed to represent. You know, they, they got a good amount of, of hollowness to this. It could easily have been much more solid, which would not have been appropriate. But this is pretty good. With the thin legs, let's see. It doesn't feel as balanced, but it still holds itself up. Yeah. Notice the piece that's used here from uh, the Unikitty characters, you know, separately sold characters for that series. Good choice. And then this one has the bow. The bow is a specialized piece in dark brown here. And we've got the spring-loaded shooter attached to the top with just regular brown colored bolts to represent arrows for it. Of course, if you don't like that, just leave it off. Done. But uh, you probably want to get a clip or something to still put an arrow in that. Create a more realistic looking arrow, most likely. And this guy has a helmet on, which is cool. Of course, that's a print. Check this out. Ha <laughs> ha! That's why. That's why they have the studs on the top of each of these characters. So I'm going to steal this helmet real quick. Oh, accidentally. He tried to shoot me. I, I stole his helmet and he tried to shoot me. That makes sense. But, see? You can put armor on other characters. That's cool. I like that. Hopefully they will continue to expand upon this system and introduce other things, other accessories. I'm sure they will. I'm sure it's already been designed like a year ago and the products are gonna come out. But yeah, a nice, a nice start to an interchangeable system. Of course, all the parts can be changed between the different characters. The skeleton comes with a magma cube with printed eyes there and this is almost the same size as the large magma cube that they did for the minifig scaled stuff it's just built a little bit differently slightly differently and this one does have the ability to open up like that but in this scale i believe this is supposed to be representing the smallest form of magma cube whereas in this scale this was supposed to represent a large magma cube you know the, the largest size but they ended up being close to the same and I think it's cool. See, so you got just the, the two segments there. Three segments here, but they are certainly compatible. You can use this as another large one with your minifig scale one, or your minifig scale stuff, or use this as another small small one with your big figs, however you want to do that. You got the underside over here on the back. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This one actually has one of those, those brackets as well used, that are used for the feet. So it stands up a little bit off the ground. Uh, also allows you to attach it to studded bases, you know, which is a plus, but, you know, this one had a weird base to it. Again, underside on the back, but yeah, this is the one that comes with the big fig. When I first heard that these were coming out, I was not a fan of the idea. It felt to me like they were just milking the theme and, you know, Minecraft itself has, has declined in popularity. A little bit recently it's still played quite a lot in spite of you know everyone who says it's a dead game because it's not fortnite but <laughs> i'm happy to have been very very wrong i mean yeah they are milking the theme totally i mean of course products are made all products are made to 
make money, which is then used for people to buy food and toys and other stuff. You know, that, that's how the world works and all. But they are good products. They are enjoyable products. They are pure and nice and good uses of the Lego system. It doesn't feel forced to me. It feels right. It feels like a, a perfect marriage of two things together and they're they're just designed so nicely they have a nice amount of expressiveness they're enjoyable to put together they have nice pieces good production value it's just good stuff all around it's 100 percent good so like i said i was totally wrong i had a negative initial outlook about these but getting them in person they're great they're 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 really great if you want to watch me build these, check out the build video, which I will link to here in just a matter of seconds on screen. And you can also find the link in the pinned comment. I did put all three of these sets together in one build video as well, so you don't have three separate videos to look at there. And at the end of the build process for all three, these were the pieces that were left over. So really not a lot. And just, you know, one third of these came basically from each of the sets. Not a lot of stuff. And there is also one extra bolt to represent an arrow for the skeleton. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get to work on my next video and I'll talk to you again very soon.